Okay, so this is how you do Heretic Ruins level 9 using mostly free-to-play heroes except for Jillian, which can be replaced. And I'm going to talk you through possible replacements here. So, as you can see, this is the placement I use. The main focus here is actually to kill Fennex. We have healing prohibition from um, Sigrid, we have attack penalty from Sigrid, and we have attack penalty from... Rough. As you could see, I let those birds leave and I brought in Tonalna. And you can bring any strong single target damage dealer, even Usha here, but you will um you still want to have at least three buffs here. Fruit buff can be replaced with Garius, or you don't even need a tank here. You can bring someone else, even Irina with a tanky equipment as well. Even your Tonalna can tank it. I brought in Eric here with high accuracy and which is remain. You can bring, so you can basically use uh, same equipment. You can replace which is remain with the single target and def defense down, which is the crown. And as you can see, I'm aiming for this 250 accuracy on all my debuffers, except for my tank, uh, but he still manages to do it. A healer, you definitely need, you need someone with uh, this spell. I brought in Jillian because I have her already developed, but there's an other option that people should have if they follow the early guides, which is Anna. I stopped developing Anna once I got Jillian, uh, but yeah, basically recovery over time here and this spell. So um, if you bring Anna, you might consider dropping Furubra for Garius uh, to have this stronger heal and bring an Irina instead of. Uh, uh, what's his name? Eric. But still keep uh, Sigrid. You need that healing prohibition here. Uh, that will work. And it just burst down the boss. Now the timing, the timing that I've done here. So as you can see, this is the squad. So actually, I also have another setup here, but it's more uh, pay to win oriented. Uh, so here we got added scaling. And the thing here is if I set up my damage dealers to deal with the birds so do their attacks while when the birds spawn i will run out of the time because we will be focusing these birds instead of dealing constant damage to the phoenix so that's why they are on default basically whenever the alt is available just cast it deal that damage if the bird is not if the phoenix, if the little birdie is not there we will deal the damage to the phoenix and we will eventually kill those birds and they will not heal the Phoenix too much because we have this healing prohibition. Now, this strategy might not work for those of you who don't have legendary equipment, but if you are doing heretics level 8 and 9, you are expected to have full legendary equipment on your heroes. Right? You are at this stage. This is basically endgame dungeon that in an ancient battlefield that you should have those. If you can manage to do it without full legendary equipment, well done. But other than that, you need it. And the other important thing is we need to ensure our healer cast this D, D spell right after the ultimate because uh, the burn that the bird applies will kill our team. If you dispel the burn, the next two skills will do barely any damage. And the skills that I mean are this um, fireballs. Okay, so they will do barely no damage. This is why you don't need a tank if you bring in someone who can dispel this. And that's pretty much, this is the free-to-play variant with one replacement that free-to-play players should do. Basically, Jillian can be uh, replaced with Anna. But as you can see, I didn't level her up past level 70 because that's the point where I got Jillian, so yeah.
hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.